These are particles of radioactive fallout. And this is how a single particle looks magnified several hundred times. A radioactive piece of matter from a nuclear explosion. These few particles can't do us any significant harm. But should there be a nuclear attack, many billions of them would fall from the sky and settle to Earth, releasing radiation. energy generated by a nuclear explosion is enormous. Near the crater area, there is almost total destruction from blast and heat. And now, large amounts of pulverized debris and molten earth are pulled up into the mushroom cloud. This is, is where, where radioactive fallout is formed. of the upper altitudes go to work on the cloud, blowing it off in one or more directions. Gravity tugs on the particles. The larger and heavier ones sink toward the ground, while the lighter particles continue to drift with the wind. Radioactivity grows weak. A few days later, those who have taken shelter will survive. In many areas, people can even leave shelter for brief periods of time to carry out important tasks. Within two weeks, most people can leave their shelters for longer periods as the radioactivity decays to lower levels. Which brings us to an all-important fact deadly as radiation can be. And this gives us an invaluable ally, time. Radiation can be. Radiation. Radiation. As radiation can be. As the radioactivity decays. The lesson is obvious. The lesson is the lesson is obvious. Most atoms of most elements are contained. 
content with their lot in life. We speak of them as being stable, but others are busy day and night being what science calls radioactive. Radioactive.